Hello, hello everyone, welcome. So it is summer now, as of yesterday, that was the summer sol solstice. So I'm very excited to talk to you about 10 of my favorite summer perfumes. Now, um, some of them, as always, some of them I have, some of them I have samples for, but they're all ones that I really love to wear and new ones that I find super exciting. So we will get started and I'll tell you my thoughts and what the notes are and whether or not I think they're worth trying out. Well, actually, I think they're all worth trying out. But the first one is a sample I have and this is from a house that I'm very interested in. It's called Carner Barcelona from Spain and this one is Latin lover. I mean, is that not the best name ever for a perfume? I mean, it smells so good. So the top notes are magnolia, ylang ylang, bergamot, jasmine, lily of the valley, narcissus and violet. The base is musk, benzoin, and patchouli. I don't get any patchouli. I get light, bright, florals. I get yellow florals, white florals, citrus. There's a little bit of green. It's powdery. It's, it's summer. You're 16. You're just running around having a great time. It's fresh. This is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. So give it a try. The next one I have is also a sample. <clears throat> this one has gotten some, um, some good advertising lately or some good word of mouth. This is Sintra by Memo. I have a tiny little sample here. It's another one, absolutely beautiful. Amber floral, Memo is out of Paris. It was launched in 2022 and the nose is Philippe Parapella, per, Paparella Paris, difficult name. The top notes are Neroli, Bergamot, um, sorry, no, neroli, pedigree, red fruit, bergamot, yes, milk, orange blossom, resins, a little bit of cinnamon. I don't really get the cinnamon. Jasmine, rose, and the base, this is the best part, marshmallow, vanilla, caramel, musk, and cedar. It is beautiful. It's a lot like Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, the famous one that uh, Rihanna wears that is just a powerhouse of orange blossom. I would say that this one is beautiful lactonic. It's heavy on the orange blossom. It has great longevity. It just makes you feel happy. And it's a gourmand scent for, for sweet lovers. It's for all occasions. So Sintra by Memo. The next one is a more um, affordable, easier grab. So this one is Neon Rose by Floral Street. It's available by at um, Sephora. So beautiful rose fragrance. I love, love, love rose fragrances. So this one is by Jerome Apinet. It was launched in 2017. It's rose, it's fruity, it's floral, citrus, fresh. It has apple blossom. Apple blossoms are the best if you ever are around in, when they're in bloom in the spring. They smell amazing. Um, bergamot, cassis, Szechuan pepper. I don't really get that. Rose, jasmine, cyclamen, angelica, juniper berries, and peach, white cedar, and amber. For those of you that have seen any of my videos, I don't really like peach, but to be honest, I don't get it. So it's um, a bright, beautiful orange, Sorry, bright, beautiful rose, citrus scent. It's not too sharp. It's not too sweet. It's just lovely. Definitely one for spring or summer. Um, it's fresh and it's beautiful. So give it a try. Now, <clears throat> the next, this is becoming a joke because I love Comptoir Sud Pacifique. Now this one is Vanel Banan. I love this so much. I have Vanel Extreme and I have Vanel Coco and I gave Vanel Coco to my mom because she tried it and she was like, that's beautiful. And I was like, you have it. And she took it. So I went back to buy another one and I tried this one and I love it. This 
So this one is a sweet vanilla fruity. It's a, oh my God. It's a beautiful banana scent. It's a beautiful, fresh, rich, pure, sincere banana flavor. You're sitting under a banana tree in the Caribbean. It's unique and fun. It, it's kind of, it reminds me of those scratch and sniff stickers from the 70s and 80s that there was always like a banana one. There was like a little guy, like a banana and you scratch it. It's like that, but only it's pure banana. It's not a fake banana smell. So it's really, really beautiful. It also has whipped cream, orange, banana leaf, and clover, vanilla, and white rum. Smells amazing. I really love this one. It's just fun. It's great for hanging out. Summer, beach, picnic, you got it. The next one is Lancome La Vie Belle. So this is one of the flankers for La Vie Belle. It's called Soleil Crystal. It's from 2021, so it's a newer one. Um, so this one is a Chypre floral and it was created by Dominique Ropion and Nicolas Beaulieu. So the top notes are Mandarin Orange, Pink Pepper, Bergamot, Ylang Ylang, Orange Blossom, Jasmine, Coconut, Vanilla and Patchouli. And the reason I love this is because I love a coconut scent. And this one is, it's vanilla, it's coconut, it's sweet, it's citrus. It's really, really summery in a bottle. It's coconut and sweet without being sunscreen. It's, it, it just makes you want to go to the beach and have a drink, look at the ocean, take a walk. It's not offensive. It has a good lasting power, a good silage, but not an offensive one. I mean, I would wear this out to dinner. I would wear this on a date. It's just a beautiful summer fragrance. So give that one a try. So the next one is, so this one is kind of surprising. Um, I mean, this one is 724 by Maison Francis Kirkjohn. <clears throat> and this one was launched in 2022. And it is a white aldehydic musk fragrance. Now, when I was in Florida, in Tampa Bay, I tried this at the Neiman Marcus and I was like, oh, I really like that. That smells nice. And then I read the notes and I was like, it's aldehyde and white floral and I don't like aldehydes and I don't like floral. And the guy's like, that's why Francis Kirk John is a genius. And I was like, yeah, it is. So the idea of this one is that seven days a week, 24 hours a day, you can wear this one. It's supposed to be reminiscent of in the city of laundromats, of that air coming out. It's a clean girl aesthetic. It's got lemon, it's bright, it's got bergamot, sweet pea, jasmine, mock orange, white musk, sandalwood, and of course, aldehydes. But they're not your mother's aldehydes. They're not going to burn your nose. They're not going to give you a headache. It's just light, bright. It's like those clean fragrances that Sephora has that I don't really like. It's this, but better. It smells clean, fresh. Every day you can wear this. It's like a white button down shirt with beautiful jeans and a nice purse. You're going shopping downtown. You're going to lunch with the ladies. You're going to a baby shower, wherever you're going. It's fresh, it's clean, and you will smell amazing. So 724. The next one is another coconutty one. And this one is Maison Martin Margel Margella Replica Beach Walk. Love this one. Sweet, floral, coconut, powdery, created by Jacques Cavalier and Marie Salamagne. This one was created in 2020, 2012. So it's been around a while, over 10 years, and you know that it's good when it has that kind of lasting powder. It's, Power. It's um, it's a quick grab. It's available at Sephora. You can buy it online. It has ylang ylang, coconut milk, heliotrope, bergamot, lemon, pink pepper. The base is musk, benzoin, and cedar. It's perfect for warm weather. It's a beach scent. It's clean. It's feminine. It's a great grab. And it's one of those ones where the first time I smelled it, I was like, oh. 
I don't know. And then I smelled it again. I was like, oh. And then I wanted to smell it. And now I'm like, oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like the beach. So beautiful, beautiful beach walk by Replica. The next one is, and you can, as a joke, not enough hype for this one. No, that's not true. God of Fire by Stephen Humber Lewis 777. So this one, lots of hype, lots of chatter, lots of YouTube, lots of TikTok. I put a um, survey on TikTok because I wanted to know, is this really worth the price? Because it's not cheap. But I have to say, it was a 50-50 and then it got tipped to yes. And by then I decided I really, really wanted to get it. But it's fruity, sweet, tropical. It's um, mango, lemon, ginger, red berries, jasmine, and wood notes. It's really, really beautiful. It was released in 2022. This one I wore, I went out for coffee with a friend. And when I got back home, she texted me and she's like, by the way, you smelled amazing. Because I hugged her afterward. And she's like, my arm smells amazing. What were you wearing? And I told her. And then a little while later, she texted me and she's like, she was lying in bed with her like eight year old son. And he was like, oh, mommy, you smell amazing. What is it? And he had smelled this on her. So not only does it smell great, it's a powerhouse and it lasts, which is very unusual for a fruity perfume. But it's just absolutely a lovely perfume and actually really deserves all the love that it gets online. So God of Fire, save your pennies for that one. I have two more. So the, the second last one, I just got this sample and this was my scent of the day. It's Gin Tonic or GN Tonic by M. Mikulev. And this is a woody, spicy fragrance. This was launched in 2023. Um, it's got ginger, tonic water, lime, mint. So it is beautiful. I mean, it's got a lot of notes in here, but those are the main ones. So this is, you're in Mexico, you're sitting by the pool, it's 30 degrees out, you're, you have a drink on ice, it's a gin tonic, there's a lime, there's mint in it, someone splashes on the pool, splashes you from the pool, you have a hat, you put it down and you take a sip. This is what this is, it smells amazing. Um, the bottle looks super beautiful and um, it's definitely on my wish list, but you know, a lot of things are, we'll see. We'll see if that happens. Um, it's like a gin fizz, so. Gin Tonic by M. Mikalif. And the last one is, this one is called Queen of the Sea by New Notes. This is a new brand for me. It smells, like all, I always say this, this smells amazing. So this has seawater, lemon, grapefruit, neroli. Two kinds of rose, geranium, magnolia, musk, wood, and or patchouli. But it's fresh, it's light, it's it's just, it smells amazing. It really, really does. You will get compliments everywhere you go with this. I absolutely, it's one of those ones where you I open it up to smell and then afterwards you're like, oh my God, that smells so good. It's a light, fresh, effervescent. It smells like the sea and salt, but not like a seaweedy kind of thing, like a bright, fresh, floral, lemony sea. Um, I can't wait to Try this one out, wear it for uh, a whole day, or wear it to the beach or something like that. So those are my 10 perfume recommendations for summer. I'd love to hear what your recommendations are, what you're wearing, what you think of these perfumes, what you've tried and what you're interested in. If you have time, give me a like, follow me if you can, I'd really appreciate it. In any case, have a great day, have a great summer.